Hey guys, this video comes from a two-part question asked by Michaela, and she says, what is the best leather to tool on, and how do you tool a simple flower from start to finish? So we're gonna answer both those questions right here as we tool this simple flower up onto this leather. Now, what leather is this? This is Herman Oak leather. That's the tannery, but they produce, in my opinion, the best veg tan leather to tool on. Uh, now, I did say veg tan leather, so there's a difference between veg tan leather like this, which is gonna accept moisture. Um, this is just water on a sponge that I'm wetting that down with, which is gonna be step one to our tooling process. Or the other type of leather is chrome tan, which you're probably most familiar with seeing different places, uh, your bags, coats, purses, shoes, uh, that sort of thing is gonna be uh, the seats in your car. If you have leather seats in your car, that's chrome tan type of leather. Uh, and that's not what we're gonna be tooling on. So in my opinion, the best leather to tool on is Herman Oak veg tan leather. And for how to tool this start to finish, uh, we started number one, getting that leather wet. And that's called casing your leather, getting that moisture content right. We have a whole nother video that goes in depth on how to case your leather um, and, and really talks about the, the whys and the hows of that. But now I'm gonna be using just beginner tools in here. So all the tools that we're gonna tool this up with are from our beginner's uh, tooling kit, the deluxe tooling kit. And the first one we're gonna use is a swivel knife. Now, my pattern's already transferred onto my leather. This particular one, I just drew straight on there. Um, but if you were taking a pattern, this is a very similar pattern to one that's, that's in our volume one of our book. Um, and on the individual flower pages, we look for a simple flower like this here. Um, so we're not dealing with any of the ridges or anything, just a very simple flower. But you could transfer this pattern onto your leather or any of these patterns um, using a stylus. So you would tape over your pattern, make a copy of it, tape over that, and tracing on with just kind of that ballpoint stylus that comes in the kit, that would get that pattern onto our leather as well. So starting at that point, we need to cut this in. So our initial cuts come from this swivel knife. I'm gonna start out at the tips of these flowers. I'm gonna be tipping that knife, pulling towards me here, and following our lines that are transferred there. Now all the edges of these petals are pulling towards our flower center here. Now one thing to note, I did not connect these points up here. We're gonna do another video that goes into depth on that, uh, kind of the whys of that but we're going to make it look like it connects when we come back with our bevel. So first things first, we'll get these outside lines cut in. Notice I'm turning that leather, always pulling these cuts towards me. For me, that gives me a lot more control on this swivel knife. keeping those cuts where we want them to be. All right, the next tool we're gonna get is called a bevel. Now, this particular tool, this is the large bevel that comes in the kit. Uh, it's got a decent angle on there. It's got a little bit of checkering. You can see some texture to it. Now, the rest of these tools are gonna be hitting with our maul on the top of that tool. Now, when I hold this tool, I have my first two fingers here and that thumb that are holding that in place. We'll have to have another video on watching your die work because we got die all over my fingers there. But now my ring finger, my uh, ring finger here, I like keeping that down towards the base of that tool. Helps give some control over that. Now we're going to be hitting the top of this tool with that maul. Every time I hit, I'm gonna pick that tool up and move it over slightly. Now, I don't wanna move it too far because we don't wanna have choppy lines. Now again, we can go in depth with videos and, and on all these different tools and a lot of them we have, so be sure to check out for more in depth videos. 
Um, but this is giving the, the rough overview on how to tool this simple flower. Now we're wanting the flower to stand up off of our leather, right? We're kind of creating that extra dimension of our project here. So we're taking a flat piece of leather and making it look like it has more dimension to it. So part of adding that depth is this beveling process here. And beveling, all we're doing is pushing leather down. We're pushing leather away from these lines and that's what's determining what side of the line I'm beveling on because we want that shadow headed on the outside standing this flower up away from the backgrounds here. I'm going to keep working my way around. Now, even on a full pattern, I would go through and be beveling all my lines in there as kind of that first step after we cut them in. Oops, hit the camera there. Try not to knock that out of the way. Work. Just a couple lines left here. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, man, that takes a long time to bevel all those lines. Like, this tooling's gonna take a long time here. Well, the beveling is probably the longest tool. It takes the longest time of any of them. The rest of them all run a whole lot faster. Um, so if you can stick with it through your beveling, then you're downhill from there. But once we have these lines beveled, now I'm gonna do this in a few different stages. But let's look now for our flower center. Just to make this easy, we're just starting here. So I'm gonna grab my flower center tool here. And that's this one with a big round hole in the middle and some dots around the outside. Let's put that right in the middle here. And we'll hit that tool down. I'm not worried about hitting it super deep. I just wanna hit that down there so we can see where that's at for now. Our next tool we're going to go to is our shader. This is our vertical line thumbprint is the name of this tool here. It's kind of an oblong looking tool and there's little lines that run down that for the texture on there. This tool I'm going to always be tipping that tool. Now if you follow along with a lot of my videos you notice I usually don't put that flower center until later but I'm thinking you might be just getting started learning this stuff and so we're going to actually put that in there for visual so you can see where I'm pulling these two. So I'm always keeping that tool facing towards that center here but I'm tipping it some. So I'm tipping this tool, walking along this outside edge, keeping it close to the outside line, creating that little highlighted ridge here. And then I fade that off. So I start hitting lighter. I'm just putting that little bit of shading out there on that end. Now we can come along this inside. Do the same thing. Notice that tool's pointing towards the center. But I lighten up as we come up there. Okay, so we're just starting to add a little bit of depth here. Now I didn't shade that whole petal in because we want to have that look of it shaded out here, shaded out here, but not in the middle there. The thing about adding depth is we can't take it all down to another depth or it takes that away. Now I'm going to come next to this flower center and point out from that flower center, having that tool tip back. So we just add a little bit of shading and shadowing out from that center. Okay. 
can keep working along around here and work out from that center on all of these pedals. And we can start shading the outsides on all of them as well. Again, start to get that little highlighted ridge that we're looking for. Notice on this tool when you have it there's one ends narrower than the other end by a little bit and which end do I use you'll see me kind of rotate between the two it's whichever one fits best there's not really a huge difference in those um, I'll tend to use the narrower end when I'm coming out from these points flip that around and use the larger end out on those bigger rounded curves Now if you can hear on the camera the difference in how I'm hitting that tool, it starts here. When I want that depth, I'll be hitting harder. And then I fade off by just barely tapping that towards the end. And now we're starting to get some depth with our shading in there. We're going to go back and switch tools back here to my bevel again. This was that first one we used after our swivel knife cuts. I'm going to go back on these flower petals right down towards the center. Just kind of sharpen those up. Bring them right back into that flower center. Now my flower center, again I'm going back to that tool lining those seeds back up and now I'll hit it a little bit harder. It gets a little bit more depth in that flower center. All right. Last tool, I'm going to go back to my swivel knife again and we're going to put in what's called decorative cuts in these flower petals to kind of bring that to life and add a little more flow to those petals. So I'm going to start out here. I'm going to start, try to keep this real simple here. I'm going to look at this curve, where that curve's in at. I'm going to start kind of right in from that inside curve. I'm going to turn my knife. I'm going to bring it. Rotate it around. Fade that cut out. So I go start deep and I fade to light. Having some curve in that cut, bring it towards that flower center. stack a couple cuts down on either side. Same thing here, bigger curved one. And the better we can do at fading those cuts towards each other and towards that center, fading them off, it's going to create more depth coming out of there. Now we can get real fancy with cuts and do lots of things. But we're not getting fancy right now. We're just keeping it simple, taking advantage of that smooth spot in the middle of those petals that we didn't have the shading, and adding those cuts in there. Main thing looking is that they start deep, they fade off light, they always have some curve to them. They're pulling towards that flower center fading down towards each other. Now we have a simple flower tooled up using just a swivel knife, a bevel, a shader, and my flower center. Hope you guys find this useful. I appreciate you letting me be a part of your leatherwork journey. For questions about more videos, be sure to check the links in the description below. We have a lot more information available to you and excited to help you move forward in your craft.